So, what did you learn the last couple of days about the emotional state of this team? Well, uh, you know, obviously it's a little bit uh, fragile right now. Anytime you lose, it becomes a little bit fragile when you lose it the way we did. Uh, it's even uh, more, uh, a little bit sensitive. Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but uh, today, uh, again, like yesterday, remember we'll play at UTSA. Uh, we got to get ready to play UTSA. They're they're a fast team. Uh, they're a physical football team. They're one and zero, and you know the score was close with that. I think two or four turnovers. Uh, you know, first game mistakes, but I think they're a very talented team, and we all remember what happened last year. We got out of there lucky to get out of there alive, and we got to work to get ready for that game. Uh, at the end of the day, we're 0-1. That's it. We're 0-1. Uh, and we got to we got to move forward and try to become 1-1. But can there be residual damage from a loss? No, we can't let it. We, to be honest, there can't. You know, that's a, that's an excuse if we let uh, last week's game affect how we approach this week. Same thing if we don't won the ball game. Uh, that's an excuse. We got work to do. We're all mature enough to go out there and handle it and work on what we got to clean up uh, as coaches and as an offense, as a defense, as special teams. And we can't allow that to happen. We got to bounce back and we got to bounce back by improving. Uh, hopefully, we improve enough and we put ourselves in a position to win a ball game. Mike, obviously, they're <laughs> offensively, they do a lot of different things and uh, different than what they did last year in some ways. Do a lot of some of the some. Things similar to what CU hurt you with, though. How are you feeling about the defensive adjustments you guys are making, can make, and whatever personnel changes are necessary? I, I, I feel good where we're at right now. We got to watch the tape uh, when we go inside. You know, as I mentioned in the press conference on Monday, a little bit difficult to prepare for because uh, it's a new coaching staff. Uh, you've got Coach Wilson style at LSU. <laughs> Uh, you got Coach Selfo style. He's been a lot of places and knows a lot of ball. Uh, and you know they're going to do some things that CU hurt us with. So, one, you got to correct your mistakes uh, uh, in your alignment and how you would play different formations, maybe a little bit differently. Uh, and then you got to get ready for what they've shown on tape. And then you got to get ready for what they might have shown on tape at other places. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, you still, you know, you got base rules, base alignment, base assignments, who's got this gap, coverage, and you know, rules we've been working on since the first day of camp. I feel good, uh, you know, the way we, the plan we've got. Now I just got to see what, you know, how it looks on tape and whether we're going to take some things out or we feel good with what we got.